What's going on, everybody? It's Treeb from Treeb Talks here for Crewcast episode 19, and we have a loaded room today, but this time we're recording in the living room. You guys, guess, wouldn't have any idea where we're recording, so you can't see anything. But uh, it's a lot more spacious. We're not shoulder to shoulder, nut to nut in this room, so hanging out, and we are ready for Crewcast episode 19. We got Larry Fitzgerald in the building. Or yeah, reliable yeah. fits. I'm always here. How you doing, brother? Oh, you know, doing good. Yeah. Just chilling. Yeah, you sold the house. We didn't sell it, but we got an offer. Oh, you got we, an offer. We took the uh, We're going to take the offer. So as long as everything goes through, then yes, we're done with the place. Is it, I bet you it's cool when you, like, do something like that, like, fix up a house... It, it, it feels it, well, like you know what I mean, like to do what yeah, you did. It was fun. I bet you it feels good that somebody good. put in like yeah. that type of offering. Well, it was because mean? everything we did up front, it was all up front. We did like landscaping up front. Laid once you like lay down shit and make it look fresh outside, everybody comes with interest. And the, this guy just wanted to finish it, so all we have to do is give him like grout and everything that he needs, and let him go. Just let him go. Yeah. Figure out what he's doing. We also got Barnhouse from Barnhouse Productions. Yee yee. How the hell are you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. <sighs> you were you're in the last crew cast, weren't you? Yeah, I think so. Maybe. Yeah, so that's two crew casts in a row you've been in the building. The people have been requesting you. I don't uh, think you know this, but I've had two comments the last two days and said, uh A asterisk asterisk E asterisk asterisk send me keep up the good content. So you're doing a good job with this marketing scheme you got for Treep Talks going. Good. We talk about it almost every single picks. Talk about how Barnage is doing good. And like I say, the way you're doing your marketing can teach me how to do better at my own job. So keep up that good work. We also got the douchebag in the building. Today you're not looking as douchey, but you got the 40 in your hand, so you're looking a little bit more douchey, actually. Looking more like Ben Haggard. Yeah, you're looking yeah. more like fucking Weem. See, the thing is... Ween can never be as fresh as me. That's true. That's a, that's a fact. He can't be as fresh as anybody in this room because the standards are so low. Well, we all know. Oh, fuck. We all know I'm the, freshest of, I'm the freshest of them all in the group. <laughs> and, you know, I had to get a 40 tonight because it just felt right to get a 40, chug it down, and then chug down some more beers. How's it feel to be on a Friday night chugging a 40 with your boys and recording a crew cast? Well, how else would you want to spend a Friday night? You know, you know if I'm being honest, it's not too bad, but if I could spend it anywhere else, it would be at the bars. Well, you're going to you're gonna end up going to the bars. Freaking Barn and Cam. Cam Barn and Cam are the only two people in the building that can go to the bar. We also have, you know, the guy coming back from the woods, but I don't know if he's done, you know, getting undiscombobulated over there. Bought you some time, but we got Colge in the building. What's up, man? Oh, nothing much. Just uh, hanging out, you know, same old, same old. People missed you in the chat, you know, freaking uh, people commented on the last, uh, last picks we did and said, these boys look more stoned than usual. So I think yeah, if, because I, I, I wasn't there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You 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 sober the group up by at least ten points. Yeah, because <laughs> that's literally we got two comments and they were both like that. They're like, Ho Christopher Columbus was like, homie looks lit, and and then I was like, I was like, are you talking about the douchebag or Fitz? And he's like, Larry always looks lit. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Larry is always looking lit. Again, you can't see what's going on in here. You can't see what we're wearing. You can't see anything. But, dude, oh my god, that Kiss shirt is elite. Where'd you get it? Dude, it's my dad's. Dude, that is... I, I, I stole it from my dad. It's a dope-ass Kiss shirt. Now you I just love need to get Kiss your merch. Superman cup back from the other place. The what? The Superman cup. Oh, yeah. My dad grabber. stole my favorite coffee mug. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I have a cool-ass... Uh, Kiss hat, too. It's my favorite Dude, hat. Dude, yeah, your Kiss hat is definitely elite, too. Is it nice to have the same size clothes and the same size shoes as your father? Dude, my dad... Because your dad's pure drip. My dad wears seven and a half shoes. Seven and a half? Jeez. Yeah, and I wear nine. <laughs> it's like Chinese, nine? Chinese woman feet. Yeah, it's... Yeah, so we can't wear the same shoes, but... Which size shoe do you wear, Fitz? I wear like ten and a half elevens. Ten and a half Smoffy. elevens. <laughs> what do you? What do you wear? Pussy. 
fourteens. Twenty sevens. Big feet. Cam, what do you wear? Thirteen and a half. That's what I wear. Thirteen and a half. Uh, Freaking and Fitz, you're on like the same size scale as me, Cameron, and Barn. You hey. got tiny shoes. You know, yeah. what, they <laughs> you know what they say about big feet? Hey, hey, but you know they're big about, socks. Yeah. 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 That's why I scored big, big hands, big gloves, and big boots. Exactly. <laughs> big gloves and big boots. Have you even taken those slippers off since you've got them? Yes, I have. I have actually <laughs> worn. Well, yeah, it goes to I, sleep treatment. Only oh, shoes I am wearing. Nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can oh this is Bard's on. first sight of yeah. these freaking only pants. Time, <laughs> only shoes I have been wearing right now for the past two weeks is my Boston moccasins and my champion shoes. I just, I, for some reason, I just feel fresh as fuck with them. I honestly bet you can just walk out in public with those and feel fine. Like, oh, 100%. Just, just feel like you're wearing regular ass shoes. And that's 100%. funny because I can walk out in the public wearing almost anything as long as I'm clothed and I feel just fine this like in the small town especially i feel yeah. that like uh, i can go to i can go to the store and i could be wearing crocs and short shorts and a kiss shirt and like that was, greasy hair you can literally walk around loose and as like walmart people and no one will give a shit yeah, yeah. no one Dude, will even throw back throw back to when me and bay got real fucking drunk <clears throat> and ordered pizza and then i didn't have pants on so i decided to wear her short shorts and fucking answered the pizza guy in Bailey's fucking short shorts with my nuts hanging out the side of the <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you see, the thing is, like, the reason why I I dress so clean all the time and so f- and so fresh is me. <laughs> me per- You're true to the gimmick. I like it. Yeah. You're true to the gimmick. Me, me personally, I I the reason why I do it is because if if I feel like I look good, I I'm feel gonna- good. I feel good, and I'm I gonna have I'm gonna have a good day. Like I mean, like I yeah, I know like I feel this kind of shitty, kind of sounds a little stupid, but I mean like no, I feel that. Dude, I mean, why, like in football, dude. That's like, why we're like, in jerseys next year because our jerseys are ugly as fuck. Yeah, like football players understand. Like if you look good, you play good. You you, you play good. Like you feel good, you play good. I mean, like like football players and sport players understand. But I mean, like like I even doing sports right now, and I look good, I feel good, so I feel like I'm I'm, I'm gonna be doing good. So I, I mean, always have, I always have to be dressing nice and clean. I mean, fuck, you got that jacket back today. Yeah, I know. My girlfriend dropped off the rest of my... My ex-girlfriend dropped off the rest of my stuff. Put Fs in the chat to show respect. Man. Dude, when Dakota smashed that watermelon on my fucking $160 shoes, I wanted to kill him so much. I would have slapped They were shit. All, all white. All white I shoes, dude. Oh, boy, I would have slapped the so bitch out of him real yeah. quick. I yeah. got it out, though, but it was just very disappointing. I was so mad. I would have slapped him silly. The only two people, I mean, the only pair of white shoes I've owned were the fucking Star Wars shoes. Those weren't white? Yeah, they, they were white and so, black. Their main shoes. color was white. They weren't white when I got them? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dog. They were dark as shit, and I had to clean them up. That's yeah. what I'm saying, but bro. They were Those white were nice shoes. They were white when I got them, after I cleaned them. Yeah. They were cool. I now, shoes. I kept them clean and good for a long time, for how old those shoes were. I actually I got him. I, not I to mention every time Trevin yeah. wore, wore the him. Star Wars vans, he stepped in dog poop. Guaranteed every time. Yeah. Every time. And then he gave it to Because I'd go to fucking Fitz's house back in the day, maybe there'd be some daisy poop and you know, I'd go to fucking Bailey's mom's house and she <laughs> and she's had, she got like six dogs. So like <laughs> I'm gonna be keep ste- up with that one. <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking stepping in some sort of dog shit. Wait, so how did, how did you even give me those shoes again? I forgot. I don't even remember. I think it was like a trade deal. I feel like you gave me something for the Star Wars vans. Or maybe I just gave them to you. I don't know. Cause you, I, I think I, it, Oh, I know why. It's because I we were doing football, and I came to your house with only wearing slides. Oh, yeah, because you lived at my house for a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. he gave you the slides. Yeah, yeah. I, I gave you my slides oh, for yeah. the slippers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I had two pairs. I remember now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Throw back to when you like lived at my house for a bit during yeah. double days of football. For about, for about a month, two yeah. months. That was that was a good time. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Wow, that's now, so weird. I'm Never sitting did. here. <laughs> you didn't know that? No, not for like two months. Dude, senior yeah. senior year of football, Cam lived like at my house for like two months. That was that's the time. Well, 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 the senior year is like when I was bouncing from home to home for a little bit. That's when I was homeless. That's when I kicked, like moved out of my, moved out of my mom's house. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of just kick. Kind of a shit deal for a couple months, but, you know, I found my place. I, I don't know what the deal is, but, dude, my mom just fucking loved you. Bro, she I'm telling you, your mom's a sweetheart. <laughs> she and is. It, and I swear Shouts out to Susan. If Susan your mom like- and dad ever get a divorce, I'm being your new stepdaddy. 
Tammy yeah. listening? I think there's going to be a lot of people who's going to beat you to that door. Dude, no, there's so no, there's no, so no, many no, no. there's so many of my friends that are willing to treat my mama right. I, <laughs> I will treat her like a goddess. I'll she treat her, dessert, I I'll mean, treat Trevin's mama right. I mean, <laughs> like, I mean, Wyatt, said, <laughs> Wyatt said she'll she'll, she'll treat Susan I mean, like, I, right. I, I'm like I'm sure your dad treats her like a goddess as it is. I mean, like, when she gets this young buck, she ain't gonna <laughs> want to go away. She ain't gonna be like, God, this, this reminds me of, like, Step Brothers this, the movie. This is, yeah. this is, this is just one of, the, one, of, one of them fucking starts, dude. She's gonna want that dick all up in her guts. Okay, come on, my mom listens to these podcasts. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> nah, come on. She really does, dude. Like, I mean, how far are we in right now? We're ten minutes in. She definitely could have heard you say that. Well, I apologize. I did not mean any of that. T- Tim comes on. <laughs> Tim, don't, don't hurt me, please. Don't worry. I've been drinking. Sorry, I was kidding. Yeah, yeah, we're just we're having a good time here in the Tree Talk Studio. Now I just gotta ask, Colch, have you figured your shit out over there? No. So right when we started the podcast, I lost uh, lost something inside this big ass chair, and it's gone forever. What was it? My jewel. Mm. <laughs> that shit's gone. Dude, I'm telling well, you right now, you, it's did, gone. Did you look like towards like the front of it? No, it's gone, bro. It's, oh, it's gone. It's, no, it's gone. Really? The couch no. consumed it, and it's gone. It, it's in a parallel universe. It is uh, gone. Damn. How did you get that in your hand? Well, it's a good thing Barnage <laughs> took it from your pocket. It's a good thing Barnage brought over our new sponsor. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> smoke sticks or whatever they're called. Puff, Puff bars. bars. Yeah, Puff bars. they're not, not actually no, sponsored. We do not. not sponsor. We do not sponsor or. But if, so but if you want to sponsor, no nicotine. We do not allow nicotine. We will accept any sponsor, especially I Dollar Shave. I don't even care. If it's, <laughs> oh, take it easy, I don't even care dollars. if it's a Viagra sponsor. We need something. I'll take Viagra. <laughs> I'd take the Viagra sponsor. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Oh yeah. Shout out to Viagra. Could you imagine like the the thing we'd have to read for Viagra? Oh, oh that'd my be God. so great. Because at the end you have to you say if your erection lasts longer than four, four hours. hours. See a doctor. Yeah, <laughs> see, that, that has to be part of it. You know. Fuck. You gotta give the people the health warnings. I've had an erection last for about five hours. <laughs> But that was Did you gas, go to the doctor? Was that was that gas station boner pills? No, I was just horny. When I was hours. at one stop, I was talking to like the owner's son, Jag. Jag, yeah, and he was like, "Oh, he's the dope." Like, was, like, <laughs> we were joking about uh, gas station boner pills because we didn't think they had them there. And he's like, "No, we have them on the shelf hidden because my dad wants to hide them from my mom because it's embarrassing." <laughs> That's so fucking. No, I love Jag. I mean, I I probably shouldn't be saying this actually. Yeah, so it's not. Dude, yeah, one stop should sponsor us. Hashtag go shop at one stop. (sighs) Anyway, we'll we'll find it. Cold. It's not the end of the world. Oh, that Tyler Sushi. Not Jerry Rice, brother. That's Brett Favre. Favre. The Copper Fit, dude. That's one of my favorite like old timey commercials. Okay, we're not sponsored. No, yeah, we're not sponsored by the Copper Fit by any I had to means. turn the TV off just so we'd stop talking about the TV. Dude, yep. Shaquille O'Neal has so many fucking deals. Oh, yeah, Icy Hot, The, the general. general. No, the one thing... Papa John's. Say, the one yeah. thing I want to say before this thing actually gets rolling, this podcast is easily going to last about an hour. Oh, oh like yeah, well, I mean, this whole easy. intro before we even got into talking about anything of importance is 13 minutes, so... Shouts out to y'all if you have stuck around. Anyway... So yeah, let's start Wait, by... yeah, so Trevin, how was your day today? Tuesday <laughs> sucked ass. Why? Why uh, is that? Oh, yeah. You might as well tell the viewers. I wasn't... I didn't have a, a terrific <coughs> day today by any means. I mean, I show up to work, and I work in news, so I'm not gonna leak too much information, but there was a drug bust in <laughs> Lewiston. So I reported on it. And everybody in the comment section was just losing their shit. And I was like, what do you, what do you want me to say? And they're like, what's going on? Do you have any updates? Sending me emails and stuff? Like, you're not updating anything. You haven't updated us in an hour. And it's like, because there's nothing to update. <laughs> like, why are you on my fucking dick so hard? And then... Yeah, like, it takes some time to fucking find some information out about Dude, that. Dude, yeah, and, like, they can't really give you any releases until it's, like, official, official. They can only give you so much information. And then I had this... Uh, I'm not gonna say names. I had this guy who wrote for me for a while, and he belittled me, 
and I cut them. So I'm just going to be doing all of the sports writing and all the news writing by myself because I don't stand for that type of shit. Cold, I heard you, you had a weird day today, too. Yeah, so, I'm, uh, so <clears throat> I work at Albertsons, a grocery store. We, yeah. And uh, I sponsored. served this lady some chicken, and uh, she goes over to do something, and I felt like some sketchy kind of vibe off of her. Was she doing crack heroin? <sighs> Probably, and uh, I knew exactly what she was doing. She went to go, like, try to, like, distract me by going doing something else, and then she'd walk around. She'd try to walk out of the door the door, you know, mm -hmm. before paying. Oh, yeah. And I and I asked, I stopped her at the door, and I was like, ma'am, uh, did you need, like, a basket or something? I can get that for you. You know, try not to be like, hey, quit stealing, bitch. And uh, it was just, like, a weird confrontation. She's like, oh, you think I'm stealing this and that? She walked around the whole store and walked out the other sides of the doors. The other doors on the other side. And I was just like, you fucking bitch. <laughs> Man, if I'm being honest, people who steal, it's honestly really childish. I it's mean, like, childish. I feel like if you want something, earn it. Earn That's what I'm it. saying. Earn it and go that. get it and pay for it like an adult. Don't be a child and be stealing shit. I mean, like, it's just irresponsible and it just makes you look like a fool. True. But yeah, I don't know. There's just so many things that, like, are petty that I just... I would yeah. not take any part in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Barn, how's your day today? You know? I know you go through a lot of bullshit, so how... Today was literally the shits. The shits, really? Yeah, so I had to drink a whole bottle of fucking pep dough. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, in oh, a literal, literal shit. Literally, literally, yeah, dude, it's terrible. Oh, damn, dude, that's unfortunate. <laughs> how was, uh, how's your day, Fitz? Uh, I just chilled at home. Yeah, today wasn't too bad for you, huh? No, I didn't have to do anything, so it was a nice day. Oh, yeah, and can I make an announcement real quick? Yeah, let's hear it. I'm sorry uh, to the Trebes tribe about missing the last picks. No, you're not. And delaying the crew cast for a day or so. You're lying. It's, uh, it's complicated. It's complicated. You were hunting. I was hunting, yeah. That's what I was doing, and I'm sorry. It's not complicated. You just suck at being a hunter. Ooh. Yeah, that, that brings us up to the next topic of the session. Did you get anything good? No, you didn't. Let's hear it, dude. What'd you get? I shot a buck. No, no. you did not. Yeah. Then give me some meat. I'll give you some meat. Like, I want some, some jerky. Yeah, uh, no, some hell yeah, jerky. I'll give you some jerky. <laughs> yeah, I want no, some I want jerky. Meat. So, <laughs> so it, was, it was like it was right before it was dark. So like just ten minutes before it got like totally dark. We were driving back to the cabin. There's this meadow kind of by my cabin, and uh, you know our my friends that were with me. They you know waved me down, stopped me. I brought over the gun, and they said there's a buck over there. Oh no! And I saw it, and I shot it. And we didn't say any blood or anything, then we found it, and... Was it a big one? Oh, so you, you blasted, uh, like, so you blasted it, 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 was, it? It was a good-sized buck, but it didn't have big antlers. Hmm. So, so you, but you're the one that shot it, though. Yeah. Dude, fuck yeah. So what was the, what was the antler size? It was, a, like, a two-point. Oh, really? So what? But, like, nothing? it had a thick neck, it was, it's, like, in rut right now. If you don't know what in rut is, it means, like, the whitetail are mating, and the bucks, the males, they'll fight. And, you know, bigger necks, bigger antlers means, like, you know. Bigger ass. Bigger ass, bigger bodies. That means, like, they're more than likely going to mate. And it just it didn't have big antlers. Is that something people can look forward to on the in 2020? Is that type of content? Possibly. See, I mean, if if, uh, if that's what we're talking right now, if you want to talk about future stuff, but uh, if not, we can. Just keep I mean, I mean that'll up. that'll be uh, that'll be that'll be a <laughs> teaser, but I mean, look forward for that type of content on the channel if you're into that. We're trying to get uh, everyone subscribed. A wider yeah. range. Just subscribe. Stuff. Because... I mean, if we can uh, get every kind of uh, you know person that likes to watch YouTube subscribe to Tree Talks, we'll do those kinds of videos. Yeah. Yeah, that's just that's just how it's gonna be. 
Anyway, so a person I want to call out right now, I want to at, is Barnhouse Oof. Productions. Oof. What is your thoughts on the Miles Garrett situation? I think Miles Garrett deserves what he got. He should have swung the helmet. That was <laughs> unacceptable by any fucking means. <laughs> but I think Pouncey should be out for the rest of the season, not just three games. He kicked Miles Garrett in the head and threw punches while he was already on the ground. Mason didn't even get touched besides at the, all. Besides the helmet. No, I'm like I'm not talking hey, about just got his helmet ripped off. I'm not it. talking about like altercation wise. I'm talking about no suspension, nothing. That man kicked Miles Garrett in the balls, hit him in the balls, and threw punches at him. The dude didn't even get ejected. It's ridiculous. And he was in the next play and didn't even go through concussion protocol. It's like man, you get hit in the head with a helmet, you need to go in for concussion protocol. For sure. For sure. Well, I mean, dude, it didn't even, like, in the moment, it didn't even look like Homeboy got whacked. Dude, like, like, it, like he, but when you look like, like, there's a replay of it on slow mo, dude, dude, bonk, game over. Like, I literally stopped watching the game because I, I was, like, over, it was a wrap, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna fucking play Madden, and then I see all that shit happens. What do you think about Miles? So Miles Garrett got the right suspension, you think? Yeah, I I don't think it should go into next year because there were no like injuries, but like the other people will say different. I don't know. I don't really want to argue about it. But like the same thing too. Like you could argue that Mason started it because Miles Garrett did have a legal tackle on Miles. There was no flag called on it. Mason ripped his helmet first. Which started the altercation, Miles went too far and got the the freaking flag. So it's just like, I don't know. It's hard. Mason literally got in no trouble and it really pisses me off. So, did Homeboy not even, did Mason Rudolph not even get suspended? No, nothing. It, it's still in He's the get talks fined. about getting fined. Yeah. Dude, if I'm Mason Marcus Rudolph... Pouncey got Suspended for three games. And we, oh, and we had a D tackle, Larry Ogunjobi. He got suspended yeah, for yeah. one game because when okay. Mason was just Where's standing there doing nothing, Larry walked up to him and shoved him on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Which is Treat like, dogs. you can't do that. Like, obviously, one game suspension, boo hoo. Uh, mm. He can come back against the Steelers and. So here's. <laughs> like, literally, you're suspending him for one game against the Dolphins, boo hoo. I hope we win it. If we lose, ha! <laughs> Yeah. But it's just like Larry Okunjoki's gonna come back against the Steelers. Like what you might as well suspend him for two games if you don't want the conflict again. I don't know. It's weird how they do their suspensions. What I'm thinking though is that Mason Rudolph was drafted in the second round, Colge. Third. Third round. Yeah. So he's not getting as paid as much as Miles Garrett is. What I would do is I would Freaking sue his ass, bro. I would sue Miles Garrett right so, off the bat. So, so you can it, get right, you can... right before the podcast started, it said that uh, yeah. he, he's not going to take yeah, legal Mason action on it. He should have. No, he and like, have. and I was thinking, if I was in that situation, I wouldn't have taken well, it because it was it was a heated moment, and you know everyone's going to start fighting in that moment. It's here's, like, dude, you get drilled in the balls, and then you get well, hit in the balls. I'm going to be swinging. Then you, yeah, and then you get hit in the head, 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 and everyone's going to start throwing punches. That's here's just my take on that's it. how everything is. Well, yeah. you got to think of it. Well, and I know, like, in that situation, you're a competitor, you're a football player, and it does seem like a bitch move if he did that, 100%. But think about how much money you're going to get from Miles Garrett. But Miles think Garrett's about... not even getting that much money. Okay, so but, no, 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 but think, put, put this, so is Mason. You put Mason on a third round, okay, like, look look this up. I wish we had a fucking Jamie, like, in the Joe Rogan podcast, but <laughs> freaking... A third round rookie makes significantly less than a first round rookie. Well, yeah. So the yeah. thing is, is if you go and you take legal action from it, and you know he doesn't get jail time, you just sue him. Get his fucking game check for every game he doesn't fucking play. Screw time. him out of that fucking division rival. He's not getting paid. But at the same Miles time, Miles isn't getting paid for the rest of the season. Yeah, for the rest of the season, he isn't even getting paid. And on oh, top really? of that, Word? yeah. So like, is and that Mar how suspensions like? Yeah. Oh, and Marquis Pouncey, he's not getting paid for the three weeks that he's suspended. Yeah, but no, Man, like, word. but like the thing on top of that though is like with this giant conflict, it's like even if we do sign him back, which I don't think we will, personally, my belief. 
But if we did sign him back, I think the contract won't be a top number one contract just because of this conflict. Like, it, it it's kind of like a Kareem Hunt situation, but on the field. Yeah, it's kind of like, and it's also something, you know, what's a judge going to say about that? But know? no, here's my thing. The NFL probably wouldn't even want yeah, that either. Yeah, I feel like... Bryce is going to go off more about this than any of us. Well, right, yeah, let's hear, let's hear no, it, Bryce. Cause, yeah, because here's my thing is, Miles, okay, what Miles did was absolutely wrong. Oh, yeah. not absolutely uh, not okay. That is not okay. No, he could have killed Mason. Oh, 100%. If, 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 if it was a good enough hit, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it wasn't because if other David people David DeCastro wasn't bad. Yeah, if, <laughs> if other people weren't pushing him back. Mm -hmm. But yeah, my thing that. is, is Mason started that shit. It's poor sportsmanship by Mason. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you were losing. You got your ass kicked the whole game. The Browns took it to you. Joe Schobert had a day against you. It was frustrating for you. And then you got tackled legally, which shouldn't be a big deal because you take hits all the time as a quarterback. You're throwing the ball. You're standing in the pocket. You're going to take a hit. Oh, yeah, 100%. It shouldn't be, like, a frustrating thing, but that's when he made it that way. He was kicking, he started kicking Miles in the nuts, and then he started ra grabbing at his helmet. You're not ripping at somebody's helmet to not start throwing punches at a guy. You, he started a fight with the 320-pound D-lineman. That's what I'm that's saying. What How expect. silly can you be? How, How, that's you what you should expect. Five. You're going to get your ass whipped. Yeah, see, well, okay, see, the thing is I don't understand is... There was, like, what was it, like, eight, eight, se seconds, eight, se eight, eight seconds left yeah. on the clock, and they started doing that? I mean, like, bro, you're behind two touchdowns. It's 7-21. Mm. to There's he no... He just got outplayed. There's no chance. Yeah, hey, yeah you, you lost the whole entire game. There's no chance you're going to come back. So why... What I don't understand is why would Mason even... Try and do yeah, that. Yeah, it's first it's place. poor. My thing is, it's it's poor like, it, it, is ba it, it baffles me. Like, and the fact that Mason didn't even get any suspension or any maybe fine. maybe you should be mad at your head coach for running an offensive play instead of kneeling it and like yeah. because an offensive play gets you hit. It's a legal hit. You, that's, you yeah. can't be mad about that. You're being poor sportsmanship. And like, even on that, they were like at the, the thirty yard line. And, like, eight seconds left on the clock, you're not going to get two TVs. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. You should have just no. kneeled the fucking ball in the it's game. It's impossible. Exactly. It's literally like, impossible. Or at least run a, run a run play. Yeah. 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 Like, I, I, like, it's not even possible to even score. You're down two touchdowns. possessions. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's not even possible. Like, you, you're going to have to score within eight seconds, which I would say you're on the 30-yard line, maybe five seconds. And then you have three seconds for an onside. That's even like that's generous to yeah, say that it and takes eight yeah. eight seconds to get all the way down the yeah. field. Yeah, and that's you know? generous. And I've that's seen really generous. I've I mean, seen like, some people say like Miles Garrett should get like an, like aggravated assault charges or whatever. Yeah. Like I don't a, think he but should it's get a any bad look for the NFL. Yeah. I guarantee you, the NFL talked to Miles and talked to Mason and said we are not taking the legal action on this because well, no, advertisers it's, it's would turn away and it's everything. It's not even like that. necessarily just the NFL. It's because like uh, Mason's agent said that like. He will not take legal you action. Know, action. So it's it's Mason that would take the legal. Yeah, but I mean that's know. still like that bad look for the. But NFL. no, yeah, and, my, and my thing too is like if you look at it like if okay, per instance, if this was on the street, think about it. Mason's Who's just gonna have a Mason, football helmet. Mason's well, I know, but Mason, <laughs> but Mason started a fight with Miles. He started yeah. the altercation. Yeah, oh yeah. 100%. If it's on the street. And Miles fucks him up especially, and kills him. Especially it's not in Miles, Idaho. It's not Miles' fault. Oh, it's God. not Miles' fault because Dude, Miles got he's somebody stalled him. He well, defended I mean, like, himself. Uh, well, I mean, like to a point. Like, like yeah. if it was on the street, it'd be Bar to a point. But it's defending yourself against yeah. somebody who's starting something. You know, especially in Idaho, if that was on the street, Miles legally could have shot him to death. Yeah. Oh yeah, and he would walk off with no charges. But that's mm -hmm. what I'm getting at. Like obviously that's just Idaho. Yeah, but <laughs> fight but <laughs> somebody starting a fight with you, you're defending yourself. So if you look at it like per instance of that, so it's the same like it's cuz it's on the football field. Well, Why do we look at it different? He was defending himself from somebody who's wanting to start something. But again, him. I just want to say we do not Condone. Condone what Miles no. Garrett did. No, like, no, he no. shouldn't have done that. He should have make that a point. Because well, I mean, like, I don't want we're just that. talking yeah. about like more of the, like the legal action side of things. Yeah. And, like, well, yeah. I mean, like they're probably like, the, 
there, it's got to be about a hundred percent true that there was they were shit talking to each other the whole. Oh, it's a division game. rivalry. So, I mean, like it was it. building up. It was building and building, making it worse. And then, like, especially because, like, like obviously, I'm not condoning this action. And I'm not saying do it, but like, you know, Mason was really frustrated after he had a shitty performance. Yeah, bad and, shitty. And like, if any of you guys have ever performed. Or done like any kinds of sports, and you know, or just perform shitty. Enough. Yeah, and if you're doing shitty, you're gonna get mad. And if someone says one little thing, it's gonna set you off the fucking rails. Dude, even like, and as like, I can see video. why he did it. I don't think it was the right choice, obviously, on either sides. But like, you know, I could see why he did it. And I'm gonna take an, another hot take here. Ooh. I think risky Mar having a hot take in this. Situation. I think Marquise Pouncey shouldn't be suspended at all. I don't. It's the, it's, <laughs> it's called it's called dog mentality on the offensive line. Dog you, yes, it is. It's, it's the trend. It's in the trenches. It's that, no, it's it's how it is. It's if you go trenches. after somebody's quarterback, they're all going to come after you with swinging punches or throwing or That's pushing true. your ass yeah, around. Yeah. Can That's you how player it, in the head while he's okay, on the you, ground. Okay, but you he fucking yeah, and that's I, the, he's seen him that's fucking too far he's seen him throw a helmet at his quarterback's head. Yeah, he's going to come at him like that. But he's like, gonna like come the same out of argument like that. as like, oh fucking Mason ripped off or tried to rip off Miles Garrett's helmet, but Miles yeah. Garrett ripped off Mason's. It's like, oh yeah, yeah but, fucking yeah, but, but, but what Marquise is seeing is him swinging a helmet. At yeah. his quarterback, you're done. Mother. I'm gonna get yeah. your ass. Yeah, so it, that's yeah, it. If, 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 I 100 uh, percent agree with Bar with uh, with Brush right there. Like, if I was a lineman and I saw that happen, and, you're if getting I, it. Okay, so like, yeah, that, you no, 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 he still made it. the penalty. Though. Yeah, but and that doesn't that yeah, that could but, be in high school as a pass lineman, dude. Yeah. So okay, I'm, I'm, not even, I'm not even a lineman. As a pass lineman, personally. Oh, that smacked him silly. Like, okay, the Golden Boy, he's the quarterback at U of I now, he's the Golden Boy, Lewis, and Colton Richardson. If anybody tried doing anything with Colton on the field, I'm an offensive guard, if they did that type of shit, oh, dude, yeah. you're getting yeah. ganged up. Yeah. Yeah. You're still get doesn't matter. Heart, you still get you're the line. penalty, though. I kind of yeah. agree with that part. Yeah, okay, so I, I think you still, yeah. you still should get suspended. Yeah. You I just... think this Castro still should have got suspended, but... I'm not. Oh, I'm pouncy or the no, cash pouncy. Oh, oh, pouncy. That's what I mean. Yeah, so. no, pouncy deserve. Okay, so if if I'm being honest, whoever threw any punch, you shouldn't throw in an NFL football that's... game. Like being live on television like that, you need to be an adult. Walk away. But oh, I mean, yeah. like, but I totally understand. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, but I, I, I understand. But I totally understand where Mike Pouncy is. Like, I'm not even a lineman. I'm a receiver and a safety. And if I saw my quarterback getting smacked around like that. Oh, you bet your ass I'm running off the sidelines. I'm going to smack the shit our out of punter, you. Our like, punter hopped off the sidelines. Yeah. Dude, you we read... We when you're on a... Off the the don't do this that. This player's getting hella but no, I, I When mean, you are a football player, if you've ever played any type of football, I don't even care. Sport. I don't yeah. even care if it's backyard football. If your quarterback goes down... You protect your quarterback. You are going to go after him. I mean, yeah. you, you look yes. at that even like... Dude, a team. Just a team, man. You remember in Lake City... When that freaking kid just started like going at Jarrett, uh, oh, yeah, Jarrett. Jarrett. Yeah, but Jarrett kind of started that. Not gonna lie. Okay, he, we'll, we'll ignore that. <laughs> but you know, Jarrett started that. No, no we came what, down there. Your team is getting. But no, that's all I'm. Up, that that is. Like, yeah. That's yeah. all I'm getting at is that he is the center. If you see, if he sees somebody swinging a helmet at his quarterback, he is gonna do everything. Or any it of his teammates matter. for that. I don't give yeah, a shit. Yeah, I don't care. True. That's what's happening. It's a team. It, like, I'll take the dog mentality out of it. Because if you're a lineman, you need to have that dog mentality. But I'll just say a team mentality. Like, if you see any of your teammates get hit with a helmet, you are gonna react. Oh, so yeah, I'm saying 100% the fines that were dealt were necessary, all of them, I think. Except I think Mason Rudolph should have got fined a certain amount, or he should have got suspended. I think he at least been it's, game. It's, still, it's still in the process. Mason Rudolph Not should, suspension, though. He should... He's getting Mason fined. Rudolph, 100%, should be suspended. Or at least, I, at I least think, one yeah. game. I was and he should that. be fined. Like, 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 but, it's, but, unacce it, it, it's unacceptable my, what they all did. But my thing is, too, you know, Ogunjobi got fined for a week. I mean, he's out for a week. He's suspended for a week because he shoved Mason to the ground. Who gives a sh Are you, are you going to start doing that every time somebody shoves somebody? I yeah. mean, offensive linemen, every time they're going to see their quarterback get hit, they're going to shove people to the ground. They're going to shove people around. You're going to yeah. suspend every one of them a week because they shoved someone well, in the I ground? Think that well, I think that... That's going to be a tone setter for the... The rest of the NFL season. But you can say the like. same thing though for Larry Ogunjobi as you can say for Pouncey as you're talking about. It's like 
Larry yeah, Logan Joe exactly. is just like, hey, you're fucking on my team, fuck you, shove it. Well, that's what I'm that's saying. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So that's I think anybody that. who had a major part to do yeah. in that fight should get fined or should get suspended. Exactly. Because it was such a big deal that but everybody involved should I don't think it, should, don't think it should be that way if somebody shoves somebody to the ground. You shouldn't get a suspension and lose your money for the game because you shove somebody to the ground. Everybody's going to shove somebody to the ground if you mess with their quarterback or you mess with their teammate. Yeah, that's a that's shove. Right. It happens it's a, a shove. Lot. It all happens I mean, in almost every I guess single you can, game. I guess you could debate Marquise because he was kicking somebody in the helmet. Yeah, he was he was throwing hands, dude. And I yeah. And I was thinking at first maybe he should have been suspended for the rest of the season. Speaking as a Steelers fan, but I don't know. You're making pretty good argument. Bryce. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is like there's still everybody's gonna swing hands. Everyone's gonna do it. Larry Obenjoe, you should have gotten. I mean, suspended when Josh Allen got took out by the Patriots earlier this year, the offensive linemen were throwing hands. Yeah. They didn't suspend anybody for it. It's because it's their quarterback. That's what the mentality what is. Yeah. I mean, like, but when you DC see somebody it, with somebody literally tr almost trying to kill your quarterback with hitting him with a helmet in the, you know, in the head, yeah, yeah. you're she gonna, gonna have to, it's yeah. gonna, you're gonna yeah. go. I'm gonna kill this guy, yeah, or I'm gonna kick him in the head, or I'm gonna do whatever. It's all, all aspects are off. Oh, yeah. She's so, gonna, suspension. You, escalate Dude, so quick. you don't know, like, one thing I think is funny, too, is, like, I have seen a lot of comments on Facebook, and they're talking about, like, oh, he, like, if he's done for, uh, what is he gonna do, blah, 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 blah. It's like, Miles Garrett is literally in the works right now to get a master in archaeology. If he can't do football, <laughs> you guys can fuck off. Yeah, this son. guy's got a plan. He's smart as hell. He's dedicated. He's nice. He just... Got a hot moment. It's like it, ha it happens, happens to anyone that does sports. Competitive oh, sports. If your job is to be a competitor, you're gonna get frustrated. And I feel like Miles yeah. is even, even, especially when you're playing shitty, like Mason was. And I feel like Miles has turned it on even even that much higher this year. Like he's got most penalties out of defensive players. He want he's playing hard and he's go he's, playing he's making every play. Like uh, even if it's he's a little bit every play like a little bit late. Play. Yeah. Yeah, even if it's that play. Yeah. A little bit late I gotta hit him. I yeah. gotta get to him. Miles Garrett's acting like every play is his last play. I mean, like, you should do that in football. Like, because you never know when you're going to get hurt or... You when never... you're never going to play again. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, No, like... that's so true. Yeah, yeah. or yeah. you're yeah. never going to wrestle or again. You're never going to let gonna somebody play... rip off your helmet. You're okay. going to rip off his helmet. Well, All right, so I think that wraps up the yeah. Miles Garrett discussion. But before we wrap up that Miles Garrett discussion, I want to have a one-on-one -on -one with the crew douchebag because he brought up a memory... That I will never forget in the crew chat today. <laughs> and that was when this exact same situation happened in Lewiston, Idaho, JV football. Make sure you don't say, any, don't say <laughs> any names. We're not going to say any. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you can start her off. So, like, this player, he was a lineman, and we were playing some team, what, was it Lakeland? I thought it was Lakeland or Clark State. Okay, so, no, I'm pretty sure it was Lakeland or Lake City, I'm pretty sure. Okay. We'll okay, so we were playing. We were playing one of those teams. It couldn't have been Lake City because that's when we fought them. Oh yeah, that we fought Lake City. So yeah. it had been Lakeland. Yeah. So we we so we fight we fight this team and our linemen and some defensive end or linebackers just fucking talking shit the whole entire game. And what would it be like? What is it, second quarter? I Dude, it was towards the end, I feel like. Cause no. we, we had them beat. No, because it was before the half. It was before Was half. it really? Yeah, it was before half. Well, the thing is, is like when this situation happened to us, is that I don't, I wasn't even looking. Like, I was blocking somebody, and Homeboy was like 30 yards down yeah. the field, and I just hear everybody go, ooh, and I'm like, what the fuck yeah. happened? Yeah, yeah. I'm, just, yeah I'm just running, I'm, I'm, out, I'm out there running the routes, and <laughs> I just hear an ooh, I'm, I turn around, and I see our Homeboy just fucking swinging his helmet at a guy, and I'm like, Oh my God! What just happened? I mean, and I mean, this corner, we're just looking at each other like, should we fight? And we're like, no, we shouldn't. <laughs> we're, like, we're looking at it like, this is a big ass bro. You're right? like, good idea. Well, did you? You, if you know Homeboy, that's the last motherfucker you want to fuck with. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I heard like, some stories about him. Dude, yeah, I used to be his friend back in the third grade. Dude, he. he Kicked me in the head once. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I, junior high, we were playing soccer. And I was the goalie. <laughs> and I went to go, your like, head became the ball. Dude, I went to go block the ball, and like I blocked it, and the ball wasn't even near me anymore. And he just kept running up to me, and he just booted me in the head, dude. And he went straight to the office, dude. It was crazy shit, man. No, okay, so I, 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 I my bell, man. I was so pissed off. I got up, dude. I got up, and I tried to. 
<laughs> so you yeah, remember so when you scary. played little guy? I don't. Did any of you guys play clear? Did you play clear water football? Did uh, you play clear water football. Wait, wait, wait. So before you start this, story, yeah, go ahead. Go okay, ahead. so before you, before Trevor starts this, I heard. Okay, so I'm I actually I'm pretty sure this is true because I can see it being true. But I heard that people were like there was a big group of people like three four people talking shit to Alex. They were beating him up. Homeboy. And so that, yeah, this homeboy. is the story I'm thinking yeah. about. Yeah, homeboy. And he ends up making it to his pickup. He drunk pulled, as fuck in the woods. Drunk as yeah, he's drunk as shit. And then I and you don't know no Idaho ye. Yeah, he ends up going in into his y'all pit. Florida. Yeah, yeah. 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 shit. He ends up going yeah, into his pickup. He grabs this big ass forty five revolver and he just points it at someone and he's like, I swear to God, if anyone throws a punch at me again, I'm blasting your. Dude, yeah, I heard the story. He I was, heard that. I'm like, what the I heard he was like leaning up against his truck and he was like barely holding up, just yeah. with his other arm. He was like. Come at me, you know. He's like, if you come at me again, I'll fucking shoot you. And I'm yeah. like, man. That's how it goes in Idaho. Yeah, it's like, I could totally see that. That's just another day in Waha, you feel me? Yeah. That is. It, it, it was it was up in Waha. I'm not surprised in the slightest bit. But no, he's the type of, he was the type of kid that freaking, um, if you, uh. You were 150%. Oh, every, like, in <laughs> practice oh, and anything. <laughs> dude, so, like, he was the type of kid, uh, y'all didn't play little guy football. But, dude, when you played little guy football... You'd, you'd do tackling drills, and you'd, you'd count out the numbers to see who you're going to be tackling and who's going to be tackling you. He's the type of kid that if you know he's tackling you, you freaking cut. You go behind somebody to make sure that that, that that kid gets tackled by homeboy because you don't want any of that smoke. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not even in the slightest no, okay, bit. Okay, so speaking of that, my senior year... When Lance Lorraine was uh, come on, buddy, or friend, oh, come yeah, on, so, buddy. Sorry, not speaking any names, but when this guy, we <laughs> <laughs> forget we're doing the podcast sometimes. Yeah, yeah. this guy, this guy, he he's a, I think he's a freshman or a sophomore at the time. I'm pretty sure he's a freshman. No, he's a sophomore. Yeah, we time. gotta get better with the names. Yeah, okay. So he's a sophomore. He's a sophomore at the time, and when I line up in football, I'm like, I'm a big boy at the time. I'm 225. I'm feeling good. Big, strong safety. Try and, him out at left tackle. Yeah, and then there's this big ass, what, what is he, Samoan, Asian? Filipino. Filipino. He's, Filipino. he's this big ass, not tall. He's but short. Big. He's I'm, short. Yeah, I'm, he's a, I'm taller than him, and that's and saying something. He's a stocky motherfucker. I mean stocky. He is. I mean, he's a stocky motherfucker. And... We're like, and uh, one of our coaches was hyping me up. He's like, you gotta, you better smack this boy silly since he's a sophomore. And I'm like, you bet me, coach, I got you. And then when he has the ball, I'm supposed to hit him. Oh boy, does he lay my ass out in a pocket? <laughs> I literally could not play football for two weeks because he hit me so hard, and my neck and my head wasn't at the right angle that he hit me so hard, my neck popped out of place, and I had to go to the chiropractor every day for a week. For two weeks, just to pop it back into place so I could play football again. Well, that was kind of... Like, he fucked me up. I'm like... Dude, yeah. you, you might have been the reason why. Because, like, dude, I remember my junior year, I swung. I did varsity and JV. And Lance... Oh, man, fuck it. Just I already got it out of Say first name. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Lance. He, dude, we tried him out at fullback. He was actually and he and he was okay, pretty so, fucking okay, so good. Not gonna lie, if he could get his feet in, like if, if he can get his. If he wasn't work, so awkward. Yeah. So if yeah. he had his footwork down and his balance down, that motherfucker would have been a beast at running back because he could truck kids. He was a big. He was strong. Christian He could, he could truck Okoye kids, but his footwork status. was absolute dog shit. A lineman had better footwork than this. Well, he was a lineman. Yeah, I mean, like... <laughs> that like was the this, problem. Like, like, this was... It was so bad. I mean, like... Man, it was embarrassing, but he literally ran over almost every kid we saw. It was it was insane. All was right, great. ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we're going to be talking Colin Kaepernick, and we're going to be talking about a guy that made his surprising NBA return, that major boy, really, really happy. Make sure you stay tuned after this break for more... Of the crew cast. This crew cast is sponsored by Barnhouse Productions, the best in marketing and the best in production. We also want to give a shout out to beer that is always sponsored by the crew cast and every beer except for Bud Light. You are listening to the crew cast. Back to the guys. And we're back. Had to give a special shout out to Barnhouse Productions because, dude, I can't. We said it at the beginning, but I can't even express how much good work you have done 
And I can't wait to see what you do in the future once we have this meeting on Sunday. Getting that name out. Dude, fuck. I mean, y'all don't know just yet, but 2020... Is the year of Troop Talks. Is the year of Troop Talks, and we're taking over, and Barnhouse has been a big part of that. One thing I want to get out of the way before we dive into fucking Colin Kaepernick, who's actually getting a shot at the NFL. I want to talk to Bryce. Yeah? I gave, I gave you a ring. Uh-huh. At around 8 o'clock at night, what was going through your mind? Oh, I don't know. I was just thinking, oh, let's see what this is about. So I call, before I call him, I call Stamper Sports, who we shout out like every other podcast. But I, I called him, and he thought I had another seizure. I about did. Because I'm so fucking excited to announce that Carmelo fucking Anthony has signed a contract with the Portland fucking Trailblazers. And he's back in the NBA, and Fitz, you know how happy that makes me. Yeah, that makes Treem hella happy. He just called me, and, you know, <laughs> he is so ecstatic. And I was like, okay, guess what? And I was like, well, I really don't know. This could be a wide range of <laughs> yeah, This could be anything. Guess what? I don't know. <laughs> so then he said Carmelo signed, and he said he signed with the Trailblazers. And Treem was just talking about how he's kind of getting tired of basketball, but he was rolling with the team the Trailblazers. That's what his team he's going to roll with. So it's like it was meant to be. Carmelo, God's real. Carmelo God came real. to his team to say, hey, you need to get back into basketball. I'm you telling you. You need to get rolling. And here comes Carmelo. I'm telling you, dude, if he lasts like a whole season, I'm getting his jersey. I'm go. getting a Trailblazers Carmelo jersey. I should get a jersey for every team Carmelo's played for. I love him Might that much. Well. I don't know what it is, dude, but I've just always loved Carmelo. It should be like Carmelo. the Josh Josh McCown for me and Barn. Dude, oh. yeah, y'all need to be fucking hicking up with them Josh I'm McCown jerseys. I don't know why you guys don't have the Carmelo Stanley jersey yet. That's true. That's what I'm saying. Y'all could probably get that cheap. Yeah. You'll have to probably Find custom make it. Yeah, like, You'll have to custom make, custom make it. Make it. Sure. Yeah. I haven't even searched that up in a while. That's true. I had to give a shout out to Carmelo Anthony. If you're listening, Carmelo, just know I am your number one fan, and I would appreciate any free tickets or free jerseys that you will give me. <laughs> any free merch. <laughs> I, yeah. I love you, Carmelo. I will, dude. He has a clothing brand called Mellow with a seven. You know. So like, if you want me to just sponsor me Mellow merch, I will. Yeah. And somebody's got to do it. So it might as well yeah. be Treep Talks. And I hope you have a year this year. Dude, yeah, I hope you Dude, right? I'm just hoping nothing but the best for Carmelo. Cam promised he'd be quiet during this because he, he didn't know anything about NBA, and he definitely held his tongue over there. Same yeah, here. if I'm being <laughs> honest, okay, so, like, I love sports. I love all sports, but I honestly know nothing. Okay, so, not nothing. I just started learning about baseball. But I know nothing about basketball. Well, I was talking. I think basketball is more gay and more slow and boring than golf. Basketball? Yes. Really? I kind of yes. like golf. I don't like. Like golf. if I'm being I'm honest, honest Brian. <laughs> <laughs> like if I'm being honest, if I'm being honest, I, I think it's would awesome to see somebody a hit a fucking four hundred meter drive than a basketball. Golf Dude, ball. there's nothing wrong with golf. There is nothing wrong with I love golf. I'd rather... I don't That's really what watch I'm like, saying. Like, 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 no shame. No, like, no shame to basketball, golf, or any other sport. Like, no shame. Like, much respect to all the sport players out there. I mean, like, <laughs> all the athletes. If I had to choose between golf and basketball, I would choose golf over basketball every time. Fair. I'd rather, I'd I'd rather watch him. a... F- I'd rather watch a Tiger full 18 holes of down. frisbee golf than regular golf. I just feel like frisbee golf brings that extra excitement. If it's, y'all it's disc golf, not frisbee golf. I know Big people difference. that are really into it. Fucking Big like, difference. like to fucking frisbees and discs are yeah I, different I, things. I know, but I mean like it's know. it's just one of those things that just roll off the tongue, you know. Like if you, you Phil Mickelson's it, my favorite golfer. That's why I live love watching golf. That's why I would watch golf. But would, now there's bubble waters. I know <laughs> literally nothing about golf. Well, I mean, you got a right. Joel really Damon from Clarkston. Dude, have you ever watched tennis? Oh, yeah. Tennis is actually kind of We used watch. to. It's pretty cool to watch, no, actually. No, watch Serena Williams. I know she's like a star and she's like a gold, like like Olympic medalist and like all that. I understand. We're like, no, you actually have to watch Dude, her play. She is tennis actually, is actually pretty. I'd rather watch so the, She is golf. insane. Yeah, so the Augustine Open happens at 3 a.m. on ESPN, our time. 
So what we would do I when I probably would not be up for well, that. Well, see what we would do at the uh, the newspaper I worked for, and we do this for NAIA too. We would just pound beers and stay up, and because we'd send the paper at twelve thirty, one o'clock. We'd pound beers, stay up till three a.m. and just watch fucking Serena and Venus fucking Williams just win the Augusted Classic. Yeah, dude, there was this nineteen-year-old. I don't know her name, but she beat. Uh, yeah, she beat the or Serena. Yeah, I well, Serena. Serena. She, she beat it's Serena, getting up there, dude. Yeah. They're getting up there, man. They're in their thirties now. Like. Yeah, but Serena's still holding. Oh, dude, she's yeah, like, for she's, sure. She's just one of those like like LeBron and all oh, those yeah. those people who you know like. Dominate who just game. dominate their sport. Uh, yeah. Like Brady yeah, holds their it. sport down. Yeah, she's just always been the one that's held it she down has. for tennis. She's and I've seen Brady something. LeBron. And I've seen LeBron. something like with tennis. You know how like they can hold, they can see stuff by like the point millimeters and millimeters of stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they can see. Oh, the tennis ball is out by just barely of hitting that line or whatever. Yeah. So it's out. I've seen that they're going to start adding that to football, so you can be millimeters and millimeters from a first down. Oh, fuck that. Fuck every cra- bit of that. That'd be crazy, dude. Fourth and a millimeter? Could you imagine? Fourth and imagine. a millimeter. Well, that's never going to happen because we don't go by the metric system, which we should, and that's for a different Tree Talks podcast. But that's what I'm saying, though. Like, that's why football should be that way, because it's that close. Like, you can yeah. see that from that close. That's why football You can because, be uh, what? I don't know the ref, but, like, he he measured, uh, I think it was a Raiders game or in someone else with a note card. Yeah. Was yeah, I remember that. I don't remember yep, I do. exactly. But he measured it with a note card, and he's like, oh, it's sh- short sure. or long or whatever, and just totally messed it up. And then they changed the rules right after that, that he couldn't do that, or anyone could do that. All right. Now we're going to get into the final topic of discussion. And before we dive into everything that's going on with Colin frickin' Kaepernick, that I think when this video goes out, sh- tryout should be today. So once this video goes out, it should be uh, should Official. be pretty pretty up to date. So you know you're gonna get our real time predictions. We're recording this on a Friday. I also have to shout out everybody that told me all of their predictions. Uh, we'll get into that in a second. But I want to go kind of around in a circle, starting off with Fitz and say, did you ever expect something like this with Colin Kaepernick to happen? Uh, I expected something to happen probably because he's just. Uh, he kind of was electrifying when he was with the the Niners offense. What he did was was pretty close to amazing. He almost made them go to the Super Bowl. So, I mean, it's not like he hasn't had the success there before. I think he took the blunt of the whole kneeling thing. I mean, all the other players still have jobs in the league, mm-hmm. and he's the only one that doesn't. So it's kind of nice that they're setting something up for him. And I heard that Jay-Z had something to do with it, like when he hooked up with Goodell, like, that was something that they planned in his deal, that Kaepernick had to get a private workout thing, because Jay-Z was ruining his reputation for going with Goodell. Gold, what do you think? Did you ever expect something like this to happen with Colin Kaepernick? Well, like, honestly, especially, like, around my area is what I hear, mm-hmm. from our, our area from what I far hear right. is, like, hella far right, I know, is, like... I honestly didn't think, just because of most states, I didn't think he would ever have a job again. There's no the reason NFL. for him to really... Well, not no reason well, for because, him, like, but because like... Because he wasn't... I mean, like, obviously his last few games were not great, but like... I don't know. I still felt like he had potential, but like... The whole thing was kind of biased, because most states, are feel I feel like, are far, or not far, but just more like right than left. Except for like California. Well, as we learned in the Christopher Columbus That's a podcast. whole different thing, though. That's a whole different thing. So, so you'd, you'd roll with, you never thought this was going to happen. I never thought this was going to happen because there's just so many people that were like F, you know, yeah. Colin Kaepernick, kneeling for the anthem because there's so many people that just stopped watching NFL because of that. I My still grandpa. Like people, I know people today that still don't do that because watch NFL because of Colin Kaepernick. It didn't help the fact that my grandpa was a Dolphins fan to stop watching uh, <laughs> yeah. football. But Barb, what, what about you? Did you ever expect anything like this to happen? 
I didn't expect it, but I definitely feel like this is a PR stunt, and it's kind of bullshit. And, like, even with, like, the Jay-Z thing, like you said, like, he was like, hey, Goodell, this kind of is, like, ruining my reputation a little bit. Like, they needed to do this so people would get off their back about Colin Kaepernick not getting a chance. And I think he does deserve a chance. Like, he, he's had the successful, the success to be a quarterback, but... At least yeah, somewhere. He, he, he started, he ended his career out bad, and he, he still deserves Because of something that our First Amendment rights, you well, know, and I mean, save like, us from. Even, I like, his play that he's playing, it wasn't terrific, but I mean, you look at guys like fucking Brock Osweiler, like, how much money did Brock fucking Osweiler he get for so being much. a terrible he had, like, quarterback? Tell us, the man, the this man final like, was, 70 million or something dude, like that? His final earnings was, like, 107 million. Yeah, 107 million, That's the man nuts. didn't even get a start for the Browns. Like, how sad and pathetic is that? Like, I'm sorry, the man had a great time to even me. start. I don't know, but... Oh, wow. I think he only really got his first start. But that's what I'm saying. The whole trade... The whole trade... Tom Brady. For Brock Osweiler wasn't even for him to even play for us. It was just for the picks. Yeah. But the thing with, like, Kaepernick 2 on top of that is... Kaepernick... I mean, he's... Yeah, I guess he had a few bad games at the end, but it's still, it's, it's a systematic thing. Uh, there's no way in hell you can't not put him in like a read, op- read option type offense with yeah. just and a really good run little... game, and he would not not be successful. Like He's gonna be too, successful. That I feel like no one like really brings up is like the mental thing. Is like he was doing this kneeling stuff, and people were booing him, uh-huh. just like threats, like. Like, he was getting threats yeah, on... But and, and, okay, but before... But hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we get into this debate... Cam! Did you okay. ever think this was going to happen? Okay, so before we get into the whole kneeling concept subject... I mean, like... I mean... I was about 50-50 about this whole thing. I mean, I believed he was going to come back and some teams were going to give him an option. Because, I mean, like... If I'm being honest, he wasn't... That bad of a quarterback. No, he took, not at all. Yeah, I mean, like, well. he, I mean, like he took the 49ers to a Super Bowl. I mean, like, Conference yeah, championship. <clears throat> and I mean, like, Superman. yeah, I know they lost and all, but I mean, like, not many still, quarterbacks can do that. He's still looking to a Super Bowl. Yeah. I mean, like, you also have to add that facts into what he's done, what what he did for the 49ers. Like, he honestly, he did change a little bit of how <clears throat> people look of how quarterback. Quarterback players play. It I mean, is. like exactly. people so have been so speedy. Well, I think yeah. I mean, it, like it's qu- been like, quarterbacks have been like turning slowly. Like each draft, and, like each draft, you see more mobile quarterbacks. Well, I guess you could say that like the trend's been more common now. But like Mike Vick was like the one that Mike set the Vick, tone. Mike Vick started. Uh, it, yeah, set it, the tone for like. No, a actually, r- if I'm being honest, Randall Cunningham started. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, but yeah. he didn't. It wasn't regular until Michael yeah. Vick came yeah. in. Yeah, and you look at like. The year Colin Kaepernick went to the Super Bowl, Colin Kaepernick and Russell Wilson were supposed to be that quarterback rivalry. Oh, they were. The new Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. Like, they were. Colin Kaepernick and Russell Wilson was supposed to be yeah. that. Yeah, and Colin were. Kaepernick decided something was bigger than football, and he decided to stand for something. And, you know, well, not stand, you know, take a knee for something, but... But see... The thing is, like, the whole thing is about the whole kneeling thing, now that we're getting into it a little bit, most people were yelling at him for kneeling for the wrong reason. Like, they were getting mad at him for reasons that he wasn't even kneeling. He wasn't kneeling for most of the reasons why people were yelling at him. He wasn't kneeling... Because he wanted equal rights. Well, yeah, but the, for the, the, everyone. Police brutality. People, yeah, yeah people, that's how it started. Yeah, okay, like, yeah. Like he, he, he didn't do it just because of the military. Like he didn't do it to show disrespect. I mean, like yeah, I know it's it's, it's a Every, little. That's how I people. Might, okay, veterans. That's how veterans are gonna take it. Yeah. A disrespect towards. No, okay, so towards like, them. Yeah, so hundred percent. Like I, I, I'm not gonna lie. It is disrespectful kneeling yeah. on the flag. But I mean, like you have to look. You have to understand. It's the 21st century. Things are changing. You have to understand, like, he is doing it not to disrespect him, but to make a point and to understand. And to, also look at the arise. stage. Look at yeah. the stage that Kaepernick's on. People don't have a stage. If somebody kneels somewhere else at something small, that's not 
a big name person. It's not like, going to matter yeah, for as baseball. much as you know, like you'll, you'll, as it is you'll, you'll from somebody seen, who's in the mainstream. Yeah, you've never seen it in baseball. Yeah. You've never seen it in any other and, sport. And but because Colin of, Kaepernick. and because of Colin Kaepernick, uh, NFL players don't go out for the national anthem anymore. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like because of him, technically. Yeah, I mean, like he did it. I, 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 he didn't do it to show disrespect. He yeah. did it to show awareness of what. Of, of what, what was causing it in America. He didn't like, see it as everybody getting the same freedoms. Yeah. Like, so that's why he didn't stand, because nobody gets... Yeah. If, if we're not all under the same freedoms, then why should I stand for So, this? I mean, like, I, I totally understand why he did it. and But, I mean, like, I understand why it's disrespectful. I mean, me personally, I would never do that. But, I mean, like, I understand as to why he did it. Yep. And, yep. and, and most veterans don't understand as to why he did it. And that's the thing, is, like, he's taking the blunt of it. It's not like he's the only one that stood for that. There's multiple no, players that stood multiple, for that. Yeah, multiple players. So, not a single player other than Colin Kaepernick got stood out. Yeah, like, everybody's name, been rostered. Yeah, yet. name a single player other than Colin Kaepernick that got benched or that got penalized or got anything in the news for benching. Mm-hmm. Name a single player. Nobody. Besides the team, because I know the Seattle Seahawks did it. The Patriots and the Cowboys. The, the Jacks did, did the it. Cowboys do it. The Cowboys. Yeah. The, the only Cowboys. With Jerry Jones. The only guy that I could say that got fined because of it was Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, Marshawn Lynch. I mean, like, that come on. Be a I mean, like, offense. But I'm just saying, Marshawn Lynch got fined for everything. So is it really surprising? Yeah. I mean, like, True. I'm like, understand, like, he wasn't the only one kneeling, and then like you put all this focus on just him. No, yeah, kneeling. that's crazy. Because like, he wasn't the reason. Like, that wasn't the reason why. He yeah, was he kneeling. started it, but. At the same time, people stood with him, and none yeah. of them like they, none they, of them they have, also understand. None of them have been penalized. Yeah, like it was way has. before that. Uh, Marshawn Lynch wouldn't even stand. He wasn't like kneeling or anything, but he wouldn't even he stand. He sat on the bench. Yeah, yeah, and no, no one said anything about. He him. would yeah. sit. He would sit on the bench though. Yeah, he, yeah, he, he just sit. He, he sat the whole time. Yeah, and yeah. No one else would. It was yeah. It was and because then, like, he took a knee. Yeah, people who people who said anything and stood up for Colin Kaepernick, they understood what his message was trying to get. Like, he wasn't trying to disrespect yeah. I, I I know for, like, because I, I, I don't know for a fact, but, I mean, like, I'm on, I, I'm about 90% sure that he did not do it to disrespect the players. I mean, like, the, the military. No, not at all. And he, he There's said no that way. before. no way. I, I, he wouldn't do that. He, he, he said it because he was, for mostly it was because of police brutality. Yeah, I mean, like, yeah. like I mean, like, okay, so, like, I, like, like I'm white. I'm 100% white. And, like, yeah, and then, like, Colin Kaepernick, he stood up for the black people. I'm like, I understand, like, what he was doing for, like, like he, he did what was right. Like, he didn't aggressively do anything wrong. He just stood what he believed what was right. And I think that was a good thing. I think it's wi- it's wild for, like, the people that are in this room, podcast, a bunch of white people from Idaho just agreeing with what Colin Kaepernick did. Definitely going against the quota. Um... I'm going to ask you guys a lot of yes or no questions, just rapid fire after this. I don't want too much debate because, you know, we went on a whole, like, political tyrant there for a little bit. So I'm going to ask you... We never even talked about where we think he's going to go. I I know, we're getting into that. (laughs) We're getting into that. So I'm going to ask you guys a simple yes or no question. Does Colin Kaepernick get signed? I am going to say... Yes. I'm going to say he gets signed. Fitz, does he get signed? Yes. Colts, does he get signed? 100%. 100? You hear that? No, comment? 85%. Dude, because like, that just sounds like some NFL spitefulness. Yeah, because like that 15%, I could still see like all the far-right people or... Well, because no, me and me and like, Hunter, no, he kneeled for the anthem or whatever. Me and Hunter were still talking. A lot of people like that. Me and Hunter were talking. It's like he's gonna have to go somewhere where like most of like honestly where most of the political stance is left, and it sucks. Probably that, like a California team. or like a Florida team or like a Florida team maybe. Even though like Florida is still kind of right, but you you know it sucks that that's kind of how you have to go off of things. But that's yeah, just how it, it is. is. Barn, do you think he gets signed or no? Yes. You think he gets on? Yeah, hundred percent. Where? Not a eighty-five percent. You about with Colge? Don't eight. don't say where yet. We'll get no, into. No, I that. said I, eighty-five. I say, I'm about. I say seventy-five. Honestly, that's I kind of I'm there too. I'm about seventy-five yeah. percent. Cam, does Colin Kaepernick get signed? Yes or no? You know, man. 
if I'm being honest, I'm I'd have to agree with with Tariq and Barnes right there. I mean, actually, I'd have to lower bet. I mean, it's like a fifty percent, fifty fifty percent chance. I mean, like, yeah, I know there's I'd take that. like right now there's twenty four teams going to go watch him. Yes, there's thirty two teams and there's eight teams not going to go watch him. I understand that, but I mean, like. There's a lot of teams that don't need a quarterback, but do need a quarterback. Well, That's even true. teams that don't need a quarterback are coming in and watching like, yeah. the Bears. I mean, like, the Patriots, they they need a quarterback, and they're going to go watch him. The Jaguars, they don't need, really like, need don't really need a quarterback. They don't need one, but at the same time, they yeah. do need one. Like, okay. really but the I mean, same like, thing, too, is, like, maybe... There's teams going that don't need one, but do need one. But. It's the same thing, too, is... Belichick, li- Belichick likes to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, he does. Well, the same thing is, it's multiple teams are doing it, is because if they're, they're going to see if Kaepernick is talented enough if to he's be still roster, has, Yeah, if he still and has if that he is, boxy, he has, like, back in the It has been years. It has been years. Yeah, they're and looking for if he still has that If he still has that... And, and, like, Arizona, we have Brett Hundley as a backup. I mean, we could just release Brett Hundley and get Kaepernick. Like, that's yeah. why the teams are coming, because it's people that they're seeing on roster that are behind them as backups. They're like, man, we can get Kaepernick, and he might fit our run game better. He might help our run game if we have to go to that if our quarterback gets hurt. Yeah. All right. So this next segment of Yes or No is going to be Truly rapid fire. You guys can give a little bit of an explanation, but let's just try and fire shit out. I'll start everyone, and then I'll go to the left-hand side. So Fitz will go second, Cam will go last. So the first team that was suggested that they think Kaepernick will go to this team was from my dog Kane. Shouts out to Kane. Kane's a great guy. His team was the Miami Dolphins. Now, I'm going to start off with the Miami Dolphins and say no, because they're already in a situation where they're kind of, you know, now they've won two in a row, but they're still kind of in a situation where they're kind of tanking for a QB, and I think they're looking for a guy that's still a franchise quarterback, and something you got to keep in mind, too, is that Kaepernick is like, I googled it the other day, is 32 years old, so he's still kind of getting up there in age a little bit. Uh, For Miami, I'm going to say he does not sign with Miami. Fitz, what are you thinking about Miami? He's a no. No for Miami? No for me. No for you for Miami. Yep. Culture you got. Do you think Miami? I say no Miami. Yes Bears. Oh wow! Wait, just I wanted I wanted to wait. So if the oh. so you already spoiled your pick. Too bad. You already spoiled your pick. But if we come up to a team that you think he's going to sign for, say yes, and then give you a reasoning. Cole already gave his. We'll we'll we'll, we'll wait because a couple of people did say that team, so he'll give his reasoning down the way. Barn, what do you think about the Miami Dolphins? Uh, I say no, just because they traded the first for Rosen, and he's like he's not the greatest, but he can still get there maybe. And like, why would you get a backup quarterback when you might as well? They might be drafting one this year. So you draft one this year, you have a first round quarterback that's a backup. Why would you get Kaepernick? Cam Kaepernick to the Dolphins. What do you say? I honestly don't think so. No, it's a no for Miami. The next one is from my dog Dylan. And honestly, man, I hate to give away my pick so early, but I'm not gonna. He says the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think Pittsburgh's in a situation where they have maybe one or two good years left with Big Ben, and they're going to have to start thinking for the future. Luckily for them, though, they got a guy like Trevor yeah, Lawrence coming out and having <laughs> an opportunity to be the future of the Pittsburgh Steelers, maybe. I don't think the Steelers are going to lock up Colin Kaepernick. Fitz, what do you think? I think it's a no. I think they'll either go for a quarterback in the next few draft classes, or they're going to roll with Mason for a few years just to get out of the next few draft classes and take a year so they can get their guy. Colch, um, you well, are the Steelers fan. I Good observation. I am a Steelers fan. Yeah. And I could kind of see us doing it just because why not? So are you gonna give a maybe to the Pittsburgh? Steelers? I'll give a maybe if that if, is that a that's possible? an option. That's, that's an, an option. option. I'll give it a maybe. Can I, you I have more than one yes. Yes. Okay. You can do whatever you want. Bro. You can have more than you get limited three yeses. Okay. Three yeses. So are you gonna say a yes to Pittsburgh then for one of your yeses? You said I could. You just said I could do a maybe. You can do a maybe, but would you rather switch it to one of your guesses, or are you gonna say maybe? Okay, I'll just say no. No. Okay, so no. It's like forty-nine fifty-one. 
That's true. Barn, what do you say about Pittsburgh? I say yes because I'm a little biased and I want to see someone else in that quarterback than Mason Rudolph because... Uh, fuck him. Fuck him. <laughs> Honestly, and he's not that fucking good. We beat the Rams. Oh, you, yeah, you beat the fucking Rams because your because defense, defense is fucking good. Yeah. But besides that, Mason Rudolph hasn't really done shit this year. True. Hodges needs to be in. So you, I, that's Duck. what I, that's what I've always thought about the Steelers' uh, QB room is that Hodges needs to come in just so they can see who they have for QBs in their roster before they go lurking, looking for QBs. Yeah, that's why mine's like forty nine fifty one. That Fitzpatrick trade was a steal in my opinion. Like fuck, that guy's performing like a motherfucker. All right, Cam, Steelers, Colin Kaepernick. You know, you get three yeses. I mean, I would say there's still about a 75% chance of getting them. I mean, just saying yes that they're going to try and go get them. Because, I mean, like, Mason Rudolph, he is in Trevor Lawrence. He, like, like, they're not bad quarterbacks. Don't get me wrong. Like, they're not bad. They, they have room to develop to make great quarterbacks. But, I mean, like, Big Ben is going to retire real soon. And they need a quarterback to replace them real soon. So, I mean, like, Colin Kaepernick, I feel like... That's not a bad place for him to go. Well, since I developed the rule of three yeses just now, I'm going to say yes to Pittsburgh, too, because I could, I could see it. I definitely think Mason Rudolph ain't that guy. Because we did it with Michael Vick. Coming up for one day. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up next, we got my guy Zach, and he said, honestly, the Patriots. So, again, I'm going to start off. Cam, don't be going off just yet. You're always last. So, oh. I am going to say with New England... Bills has to have Bill has to have a plan down the line, so I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say they don't go out and try and get Colin Kaepernick because I think I think they're gonna try to do some trickery down the line. Fitz, what do you think? Uh, I think it doesn't really matter on who Bill gets. Bill's shown that he can throw quarterbacks out there. Uh, Jimmy G went to the Niners. He's tore up. I think Jacoby Brissett's done amazingly solid for Indianapolis. That's just two quarterbacks he's thrown out to the league already. So I think they're going to roll with Stidham on the the backup. He's going to develop him, and he will be their next go-to guy. I think it's a no. The Patriots. Cold, what do you think about New England? Hard no. Hard no. I don't think Belichick likes the fucking spotlight like that. You That's know? true. Because he, he did the same thing with, you know. Tebow. Tebow. He did it with everybody. Like, he doesn't like that. He did it with A.B. A.B. got a rape case. And just said, Pass. you're not going to fucking play because of what's going on. And, like, Bill Belichick, I know, like, he'll obviously, he'll bring in quarterbacks or whatever. But it's just a hard no for me. What do you think about the Pats, Barn? I say yes, just because it's something Bill Belichick would do. I feel and that. And, like, the, my, like, thing with that, though, is if Kaepernick keeps doing the kneeling, I don't think he'll be there I'm, like long. And like, the thing is, he won't do the kneeling because the for the NFL players stay in the locker room. Oh yeah, true. There. So never mind. Yeah, he can't do that. But if he attempted, his ass ain't gonna be there long. All right, Patriots fan Cam, what do you think, Patriots? You know, I'm a big Patriots fan. Not gonna lie, but I mean, if I'm being honest, it's a fifty-fifty for me. You, get, you gotta say yes, no, or maybe. I mean... So maybe. I feel like it's maybe. a maybe. maybe. I mean, the Patriots, Brady, he wants to say... He says he wants to play till he's 47, 46. I understand, but that's a little foolish. Okay? Uh, but I mean, like... If I'm being honest, I feel like... The, at the same time, Bill Belichick, he will do that. Just to trick teams up to make it a running offense. Just switch up his offense up just 100%. Because, like... The Patriots have never had a running quarterback like Colin Kaepernick. Let's be honest. They never have. So, I mean, like... I mean, they've had Brady for 20 yeah. fucking years. So, I mean, like... So, I mean, like... So, I mean, like I could before that, them. they had Bledsoe. Bledsoe. Yeah. Yeah. He I mean, wasn't before very that, fucking yeah. Going. So, I mean, like, I could see them doing it just to switch up the offense to see, because, like, no one would know what the Patriots are doing. Like, it would be a complete mismatch. Like, no one would know what they would have been doing. But at the yeah. same time, I could see him saying no... Because of all the bullshit, Paul yeah. Pinnick 
has brought on to it. You also got to think, too, Belichick likes bringing in those bad boys. He does. I'm like, he brought in Antonio <laughs> Brown. He Randy Moss. He Josh brought in Antonio Gordon. Brown, Randy Moss, Josh Gordon. Wes, I mean, like, not Wes Walker. He wasn't that big of a player. Like, that bad of a player. I mean, like, just the Cordy point. Dillon was a bad Rodney, boy before he uh, got in. R- Rodney Harrison, uh, Ty Law. Was he likes to turn bad boys Harrison. into yeah. good boys. Yeah, I mean, but like, James Harrison, that's Bill another guy. got a guy for That's true. That almost like, makes you want to choose to a maybe. So, like, me like me personally, I cannot say yes or no. That is a maybe like, for Bill me. Bill Belichick, a maybe. to me, he is so unpredictable. Because, like, 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 for the Super Bowl, for example, like when they played the Rams, they switch up their offense so quick, just boom. He like Gronk is what saved the game. I understand like put him in the in the t- t- touchdown zone, but I mean like they change it up so quick. It's so unpredictable of what Belichick is gonna do. I just yeah, Belichick can like, run one of those I'm, plays like I'm the Ravens did. That. You know, like I'm mean, like Steinham. Like 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 when, when we had Steinham for like the preseason, he wasn't that bad. Bill Belichick had Steinham run for a couple of plays. I'm, I I know if I'm I'm saying his name wrong. Like, yeah, but that's the guy. Like, yeah, I'm I like mean, he ran a couple of plays. Like they, they, they did a little read option plays. I mean, like that's why I'd expect Kaepernick not to be there because I I expect Stid- so many like all in all, I just wish Cody Kessler, Kessler could be your guy. <laughs> <laughs> so me, so me personally, I'm like I could see him Most going there, Stanton but at the, the same Browns time, guy. I could see him He's not. Done, so okay. I mean, I don't right. know. It's all right, a it's a maybe. Going on to the next team suggestions from my guy Conj. Shouts out to Conch in the chat. Mm-hmm. And of course he had to say, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Let me tell you one thing right now. If this was the 2017-2018 Jaguars of Blake Bortles and Cody Kessler, I'd say, oh yeah. I'd say, I'd say let's try it. Let's do it. But I think with Foles and Minshew, I don't think there's a reason for it. So I'm going to say no, the Jags don't sign them. Fitz, what do you think? The Jags... QB room is already too talented, and Kaepernick doesn't need to go in there and get things all mixed up. I think that's a two QB run. If Foles don't perform the next few weeks, I think you throw Minshew back in, and I I give it a hard no. Cold, what do you think about the Jags? It's crazy that you say that because I also say hard no because I feel like Minshew is the future that's, of the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's that dog, Barn. What do you say about the Jags? Same as Cole, Jim Bryce, hard, hell no. Cam, what do you say about the Jags? I have to say hard no as well. That was a quick one on the Jags. The next comment comes from the man himself, the crude douchebag. No. Cam gave his opinion, Uh, and we're going to spoil one of his yeses right now, and once we get to him, he's going to have to do some elaborate explaining, and this is one I, I really don't, I really don't understand. To be 100% honest, but I mean, maybe for a backup role, because, you know, Matt Moore and Chad Henney really aren't anything. But he said the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, for the Kansas City Chiefs, I'm going to say no, because I think that's one of those teams that just kind of relies on Mahomes to stay healthy. They want him to be the guy. And I think Colin needs to go somewhere where he'll be a two, where he has playing opportunities. And I don't think he gets that in Kansas City. So I'm going to say a hard no for Kansas City. Fitz, what do you think? I'm going to say also a hard no. There's already too many dynamic playmakers in that offense. I don't think any. it matters what QBs throw into them. I think Kaepernick needs to go to a system that has a good run game. And I don't think the Chiefs have that with the McCoy or Williams. Colts, what do you say about Kansas City? Hard no. Matt Moore is the one of the best. Like, obviously, this is the year of the backup quarterbacks. Matt Moore is one of the better quarter backup quarterbacks. So hard no. Barn? I say soft no because I think it would be interesting, but I don't think it would happen. Right? It's kind of one of those things where it's like if Mahomes does go down, you got Colin Kaepernick. Right? right? It would be interesting I mean, seeing him in that stacked but... offense. Like, yeah. You have no idea. How Continuous stacked offense. I've seen what Cam was thinking. Now, Cam! We all know your fucking take on it. Now let's do a little bit of elaborating. So, if I'm being honest, the reason why I picked the Chief because I said it as a joke. I know oh, oh, okay. I know they're not going to pick him. Because, I mean, like... They now you kind of got to go with it. They have Patrick yeah. Mahomes. That's their franchise quarterback for the next, what, at least 10 years. I mean, like, Mahomes has got it. He's got everything they need. And 
I honestly don't think they're gonna do it. Pick so you're up. you're gonna so hard I, no your own answer? Yeah, so I'm gonna say a hard no for my own answer. But I mean like I only said it for a joke and I thought it was kinda funny. It was funny. It was. It definitely brought up some discussion. My dog Connor, who I seen at one stop the other day, says the Cincinnati Bengals and I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes to the Cincinnati Bengals because you look at what the Bengals are. The Bengals are a team that likes Trash. likes to give a lot of people extended opportunities. So what <laughs> what better team to bring a 32-year-old Colin Kaepernick to the fray and be a starting quarterback unless they're truly tanking for Tua? We're going to see after fucking today because it's going to go up on a Saturday. So we'll see after today how serious they are. But I'm definitely going to put that as one of my yeses. I think Cincinnati is one of those teams. Um... I think they kind of leave him on reserve for next year if he does go to Cincinnati, just to kind of, you know, let's see what he can do. And it'd be interesting to see, you know, a QB competition between Colin Kaepernick and maybe Tua Tagovailoa, and then see if that's going to be the competition. <laughs> and then maybe even see, you know, the the Bengals not even drafting a quarterback and just saying, you know what, we're rolling with Colin Kaepernick. So I'm going to put that as one of my yeses. Fitz, what do you think about Cincinnati? I'm going to say yes. To Cincinnati because I think Cincinnati's building something here. Uh, Sean McVay uh, was Zach Taylor was with Sean McVay last year and in, in, with the Rams with their staff, and I think he can build something with their offense. Mixon's pretty good. AJ Green, if he could come back solid, that would be great. Uh, I did like Jonah Williams coming into this year for out of the draft, Same. and uh, I think instead of drafting a quarterback, I think they'll go with a 32-year-old. I think they'll give him a shot. I think he is way better than any of the quarterbacks they have rostered right now. I think Dalton's way past what he should have been given. I think Finley isn't very good. And um, I think he's going to get it done. I really do. I think that would be a good fit. And I think they're going to waste their first pick on the that number one pick, uh, the, no, the number one defensive prospect. Yeah. Can't remember. I mean, now Fitz. Cole, who do you got for Cincinnati? What do you think? Dude, you guys totally convinced me. I got a hard yes. That's because, uh. Because Andy Dalton sucks. And if anyone's behind Andy Dalton, they obviously suck. And I mean, you get Colin Kaepernick with like an AJ Green and a Joe Mixon offense. Yeah, that might turn it all around. And they run have the Jonah Williams option. up front. And then <laughs> who's that? Who's the player from Ohio State? The defensive guy. The Ohio State. Yeah, I haven't looked too dominant, much into the draft. He's a dominant yet. defensive player. But I, I could honestly he sat see that. out last game. I could that totally little, see Chase that. Chase Young. Chase Young. That you guys say that. Like I could see him just. I can see him throwing some dots. I can see them doing Kaepernick and then drafting Chase Young to put with Gerald McCoy and try to make a run with that offense. Barn. But it wouldn't work. What would you say about Tennessee? I say maybe because if you look in our division, besides the Steelers, you have the Ravens and the Browns. They both have two young QBs who are going to be their franchise QBs. And I feel like the Bengals are looking for a fresh start and they're going to I seriously think they're taking for Tua and at this point yeah and like but I could see them taking the chance on Kaepernick just as like a backup if not starter if Tua doesn't work out or maybe just letting Tua sit for a little bit behind Kaepernick and learn maybe not drafting Tua at all and get Kaepernick with Chase but but I really see the Bengals going for a young QB because they need to build up a franchise and keep up with the Browns and Ravens. Cam, what do you think about Cincinnati? I would have to support Brian and John all what he said. I mean, honestly, I don't feel like any Dalton's is getting the job done right. He chokes in playoffs. He doesn't even make the playoffs a lot. When he does, he chokes. He does really bad. I feel like they need a young quarterback. I don't think Colin Camp makes the choice. So, I mean, like, I would have to say maybe. All right, coming up next, we got a guy that played backyard football with us that we talked all that shit to, our boy Chase. Cheeb? No, 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 not Cheeb, but the the one that, Chase. yeah, you know, that played footage against us. And he said the 
Raiders. The oh, soon-to-be yeah. Vegas Raiders. Oh, hell and, no. And I'm going to say hard no, because I, I like what Derek Carr's producing out there on the field. He is a little injury-prone, but I don't think they'd go all out for a quarterback like that. So I'm going to take the Raiders as a hard no. Fitz, who you got? I'm not going to be last. Fuck Fitz. Um... <laughs> I honestly don't think he's <laughs> going to be the last. I honestly don't think the Raiders are going to choose him. I think they're going to stick with Colin Cap. I think they're going to stick with uh, Derek Carr. Because, I mean, like, he honestly, he's not that bad. I mean, like, yeah, I know he got he's hurt. He's doing all right. Like, he honestly has made that team a little bit better. So, I mean, like, I'm going to have to say 100% no. I don't think the Raiders are going to pick him at all. Fitz, I'm sorry you skipped you, but it's yeah, on to you. It's on to it you. is whatever, you know. <laughs> I'll say it on the back burner. What do you got? Uh, I'm going to say, I'd say no. I just don't see it. I don't know. I don't know. Gruden. Mediocre. Gruden Gruden signed that 10-year deal knowing what he was doing. He used his draft packs on players that he wanted to draft. And if he didn't do that, he he could have drafted like Daniel Jones or other quarterbacks mm-hmm. in said draft class this year. So if you if he really didn't believe in Carr and believe in the quarterback that he has, and he I mean he was gonna roster three quarterbacks this year in preseason because he liked both. Uh, God dang, I can't remember both of them now. But Mike Glennon. Oh, one of them was Mike Glennon, and the other one was. I can't remember, but he had three quarterbacks that he Mark was gonna Sanchez. he was gonna roster and keep around just because he thought they all played three played good in preseason. So I don't think it would happen. Colts AJ were, McCarron. Yep. There you go. Cold you got. I remember that. Uh, wait, what was the team again? The Raiders. Hard no pass. Barn, you got. Uh, hard no pass. All right. Coming up next, we got Bo Kane's dad. He decided to throw out Chicago. And that is going to be my second yes. Because Mitch Trubisky is garbage. Plain and simple. If you want fucking homeboy to go out there and start for a team, Chicago's one of them. If Chicago wants a quarterback and they want to try out Colin Kaepernick, because I really don't think Colin's going to play this year if he shows up. I think Colin plays next year. And, you know, kind of goes into a deal where he has a competition in training camp. I think he blows Mitch Trubisky out of the fucking water, bud. So I'm going to take Colin Kaepernick as my second yes to go to Chicago. Fitz, what do you got? I'm going to say yes, but I think he's going to have a QB competition. And I don't think it's going to be with anybody on the roster. I think the Bears are going to bring in Cam Newton. Next oh, year, could you imagine? and I think they're going to have a battle between Cam Newton Kaepernick because they have the system of run game that would fit perfect for both those two quarterbacks. They have a small ass, fast running back in Cohen, and I think Montgomery can be a bell cow back. So I think that fits what they need to do, and I I say yes for Kaepernick. Colts, what do you got? Bears. Hard yes. I already revealed it before <laughs> we were supposed to, but. I could just see it because I don't like Trubisky at all. I don't think he's good. I think he'll be a backup for the rest of his NFL career. And if I'm wrong, call me out. Hmm. Whatever. Barn, what do you got? I say maybe. Just because the QB room is trash. But I just, I don't know. There's just something about those bears that, like, fucking love hanging on to Trubisky, and it's like... Duh, bears. It's like, ugh. And another thing, too, is Chase Daniel. I think he's, like, 35 or 36. Man, they traded up for him, So he's an so old like... backup, so they're going to need somebody. Well, Cap's 32. He's getting up there, too. Cam, who do you got? You know, I'm going to have to say maybe. I'm going to have to agree with Barnage right there. I mean, I honestly think, feel like uh, he has... Uh, Trubisky has potential. I feel like he does, but I feel like he's on the wrong team to show it. I don't know. Man. But I at the same time, I paper. feel like he's a joke. Yeah. But I feel like he has potential. So I mean, like it's a maybe, maybe. So but I also feel like Colin Kaepernick would be a suitable fit. So I'm gonna have to say maybe. I feel you. <clears throat> okay, we got two more Facebook team recommendations. And then we're going to get into our final decision on where we think Colin Kaepernick's going to go. We have the Los Angeles Chargers. 
and I'm going to hit that with a hard maybe. I think Phillip Rivers is going downhill quick. I don't think they have a suitable backup. Colin Kaepernick might be that guy. If I could give out four yeses, I'd give a fourth yes to the Chargers because I think that's actually a pretty good pickup. That's from my dog, Austin. Austin, my boy, Austin. <laughs> Fitz, who you got? Um, the Chargers seems like it would be a good fit. I heard a lot about Rivers maybe wanting to leave uh, the Chargers to go closer to Alabama, his former roots for retirement. <laughs> I heard he like wants to play for a team closer to there. Uh, I don't know about the, any of that, but... Uh, the Chargers team, I really, that could be another team that fits it well. They have Melvin Gordon and Eckler. That's a good backfield to fit with Kaepernick. I could see it. I'm going to give it a maybe. 50-50. What do you got for the Chargers? I'll give it a soft yes. All right, Barbara. Pass. What do you got? Uh, I don't know. I don't really see that. I don't know. I, no? No. I think... Phillips going to play I, a few I more years. Even though Phillips is like, he might be, I don't know, I haven't heard anything about it, but him wanting to move maybe, but I think they just ride with Phillips. I mean, fuck, dude. And he's just been there for so long, and it's their QB, I don't know. I don't see them passing him off. And Cam, what's your final thoughts on the Chargers? I'm going to have to say yes. They, uh, they don't have a suitable backup quarterback for Phillip when he goes down or when he's gone, so... I mean, like, yeah, I know they don't run a, a quarterback run offense, and I know they usually don't run offense because they have Philip Rivers and all. But, I mean, like, I feel like he wouldn't be that bad of a fit. With Keenan Allen, I feel like they would be pretty filthy together. So I'd have to say yes. All right, for the final Facebook comment, we got Tina. Shouts out to Tina, and especially, that's Bailey's mom, especially shout out to the team that she gave the shout out to, and that's going to be none other than the team that I'm going to give my third yes to, and that is the Denver Broncos. That's more than the third. Whoa. That's like your fifth yes. That's my third yes. Tina said the C. I mean the Broncos. Yeah, Tina said the Broncos. Wasn't the Seahawks. Tina said the she man, fucking Tina wouldn't even want Kaepernick. <laughs> Dude, to, but Tina, makes sense. She she came in with some heat, and I think Denver makes a whole lot of sense. John Elway's gonna see Cap and be like, oh, "Hey, bud, you know what I could fucking make you into Super Bowl winner." <laughs> and I think that just makes sense. So I'm gonna say my third yes to the Denver Broncos. Fitz, what do you got? I'm gonna say it's a fat no. Really? On this Hard one? No. I think Flacco is holding it down for this year. I think next year they're going to f- tank completely. And Trevor Lawrence will be the new face of the franchise. Could you imagine that Super Bowl, those two quarterbacks, Flacco and Cap, on the same fucking roster, Yeah, that'd dude. be wild. But I don't think it's going to happen. I think they're going to tank after next year. And they're going to go get Trevor Lawrence next year's draft. Colch, what do you say about Denver? That's going to just have to be a soft no for me. All right, soft no. Bard, what do you got? I say maybe. I think it would be interesting. But I, I could know. see it, but I don't really think so. And Cam, to wrap up with the Broncos, what do you got? Oh, boy. Honestly, I'm going to have to say 75% chance. It's closer to a... Soft yes. Yeah, soft yes. Yeah, it's like a soft yes. Because, I mean, like, Flacco, he has not done the job right. Come oh, on. Like me, no Flacco. Let's be, That's why the Ravens pass. Let's be for real right now. Flacco cannot throw the ball anymore. Nope. He can't. He can't throw it deep like he's he used washed. to. I think you mean Cole James. So, so I mean, like, out of the I, could <laughs> see, I could see him going there. I honestly can. But uh, at the same time, I wish he was still there. Alright, so that wraps up the Facebook comments. We got two different teams on YouTube that responded. Starting things off with Mr. Corey P, who his profile picture looks like he rips hella lips. He has a big fucking bass in his profile Ooh, picture. okay. And Barnes going to get a kick out of this one, and he's going to be pissed off. He's going to go third, or fourth. He's going to go fourth, but we got the Cleveland Browns. And for the Cleveland Browns, I'm going to say... 
Hard no, because I really like Garrett Gilbert back there, too, because I'm a big Garrett Gilbert guy. I'm a big Baker. I'm not a big Baker guy, but I think Baker can turn it around next year. So I'm going to say hard no on Cleveland. Fitz, what do you got for Cleveland? Cleveland is going to be a no, because Drew Stanton's going to be the QB coach. They're going to figure shit out, and Baker Mayfield's going to have a amazing year after his sophomore slump this season. Colts? Next year. What do you say about Cleveland? Um, it's going to be a soft no for me. But you said that whole uh, coaching thing. I think if they tank this year, Freddie Kitchens gets fired. Kellen Moore, head yeah. coach for the Cleveland Browns next year. That'd be dope. Barn, what do you got? Uh, I say no. Just because of the simple fact we've already got enough problems. We don't need the media attention from Colin Kaepernick. I think it's interesting that we are going... But, like Treep said, Gilbert, I love the man. He killed it in preseason. Killed it in the AAF. He killed it in the AAF. Like, he was a steel pickup when we got him. Like, I don't care. Like, the guy is a stud. And there's a couple of games this season. I wish he would have came in for Baker, because I think he probably could have done better than Baker. But who knows? And let's talk about how Drew Stanton's going to become the QB yeah, coach next dude, year. Drew and Stanton, you guys are going to be elite he, he's retiring with us this year. He's out for season with an injury this year, and he's already coaching Baker Mayfield and all this stuff. Like, I, he, there's no way he doesn't get the QB coach next year. Like, the man is just talented with what he does, and he's worked with so many first round QBs, like four or five now. It's crazy. All right, Cam, to top it off with Cleveland, what do you think? I'm gonna have to say a hard no. Baker Field, Baker Mayfield is their future. Right now. So. All right. And the final team from Kevin. Uh, I can't even say his name, but he's a loyal subscriber. He's been around for a while. So he's going to say, we can't go a single fucking video without talking about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, James. He, 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 Jameis like Winston, shut up. Half of us love him. No, shut up. Cole. Yeah, Wait shut up. Jameis Winston. Hold on, now let me start. Let me start. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You're right. fourth. I'll sit or down. fifth. You sit down. I'll be second. For Tampa Bay, I'm going to say hard no because Jameis Winston ain't never done nothing wrong. Jameis Winston's the future of Tampa Bay. Yes. He's going to get it done, but actually I'm going to say it maybe because I think Tampa Bay really needs like a quarterback that can get it done. But I'm going to say maybe for Tampa Bay, Fitz! I'm going to say fuck Fitz again. <laughs> second time. But I'm going to have to say... Play I'm going to have to say... Tampa Bay has to say a hard no. I feel like Jameis Winston is... Their quarterback to be. I honestly feel like they just need to be all on the same page, and I feel like they honestly aren't. And once they are, they will be unstoppable. So I'm gonna have to say yes. The Tampa Bay. Well, no, the Tampa Bay, because they're gonna stick with Jameis Winston going all the way as to being their franchise quarterback. Let's go backwards on this one. I say no, Colge. I'm gonna say hard. I'm gonna say they're not gonna go for Colin Kaepernick. Um, just because they believe in Jameis for some reason, even though he's trash. Jameis I mean, is. All I gotta say. Jameis is their quarterback to be though. I mean, like their their coach even themselves have said. Their Jameis has had a great game of over 300 throwing yards, mm. but the receivers or their linemen. Here's yeah. what I'm going to say. Put it up. I've them. had two teams where I've had said yes. And... Yeah, I haven't said my third yes. There's one team out there that you guys haven't even said in the comments or whatever that I kind of want to talk no, about. No, no, don't. No. After, at the, after, at the after end. this. At the end, we're doing yeah. that. But here's where I'm going to give this one... I would love to give this one a yes, but I'm going to give it a really close maybe. I say to a yes. No, but because... I think Bruce has done this, and he's done this, and he did this in Arizona. We had Drew Stanton on roster. Drew Stanton was going to be our starter. Drew Stanton was going to be our guy, and then we went and traded for Palmer, and Palmer did everything that Palmer did. This would make perfect sense, where a guy like Winston, most turnovers in the NFL, kind of just, you know, not very 
doing very good. Goes and trades for a different guy. Goes and signs a different guy like Kaepernick. And does something. And runs it. I could see it happening. Maybe. Alright. To end the podcast and to end the Colin Kaepernick drama, you each get 25 seconds to say what team Colin Kaepernick is going to go to and why. I'm going to start, and I don't think I'm going to need the whole 25 seconds. I'm going to say he goes to the Denver Broncos. Flacco ain't it. They wanted Flacco to be it, but he ain't it. And uh, that's just, you know, the AFC West is one of those divisions that just is up in the air every single year. They have an opportunity to win it, and if, you know, Colin Kaepernick's the real deal, like he's been saying, he's keeping up with his body, then Colin Kaepernick is going to be the dog, and he's going to take Denver by storm. He's going to go to the Denver Broncos. Fitz, where's Colin Kaepernick going to go? Don't you get me copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> Fitz, who you got? Where's he going? Uh, I just want to talk about another team where I can see him going. No, 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 no. Where's he going? I don't know. You got to pick. Where's well, he going? That's some bullshit. You're saying we were going to go to the end and talk about teams that we didn't talk about. Where's he going? No. I'm going to talk about a team where I think he's going, where he could go, is the Panthers. I could I could see it because I don't think Kyle Allen is the full proof. I think they're going to see that he's not it after a few games, and they're going to realize that they can go and get something that could be a better option for their system. Okay, to recap, where is he going? I think... Probably the Panthers. Fitz. With Ron Rivera. Fitz has him going to Carolina. Colge, where the fuck is Colin Kaepernick going to be playing football next year and for the rest of this year? He will not be playing football for the oh. rest of his life. So no NFL team's going to sign him, huh? Absolutely not. Well, no, not oh, absolutely. Fuck. It's like a maybe. Like 51 49. Like, if he signs with that new one, he's going to sign with the Bears. Bard, where is Colin Kaepernick going to be playing football next year? Okay, I don't think he's ever going to play again, but I think he will sign with a team. I think he will sign with the Redskins, and they will use him to kind of like train fucking Haskins and have him there. But just in case Case Keenum and Haskins just keep <coughs> being garbage this season, might as well throw Kaepernick in there and see what he's got. Cam, where is Colin Kaepernick going to go play football? <laughs> so if I'm being honest, Trevin, Fitz, Barnage, they all put down valid points. And so is Colton. So I'm going to have to agree with Colton oh, and say cool. he does not get signed with the team. I like the way you think, Cameron. I can definitely see it. So this was our longest podcast now. We're going on an hour in 45 minutes, almost a two-hour podcast. If you stuck around to the very end, I want to say a big thank you to you and thank you for supporting this channel. And it's only going to get bigger in 2020. Just wait until you see what we have in store. Make sure before you leave this podcast, you go ahead and drop a like down below and you hit that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to get notified. Every single time we drop a new video, make sure to check the links down below. You can like me on Facebook at Troop Talks. Follow me on Twitter at Troop Talks. Or follow me on Instagram at Trey Vaughn Pixley. Fitz, you got any parting words? See you next week. Colge, what do you got? Episode 20 next week. Oh, yeah. I'll do a big uh, outro for next week. But uh, this week's just going to be a uh, have a good rest of your day. Barn, any last words? The most important words. Don't forget about the balls. Feel that one. Cam, any last words before we head out? Uh, I'm going to have to say Patriots are going to Mr. Bull again. And that's about it. Lukewarm take. Thank you guys so much Thank for you. listening to the Crew Cast episode 19. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.